Hi everyone. So, uh, world's not great right now. But I'm gonna play some Final Fantasy and do some stuff that's not that. Because, ah. Uh, so we're gonna do some nice stuff. We're gonna do some, some dailies. We're gonna do some roulettes. Uh, I just did a, uh, PvP roulette. That was, uh, or the other day I did PvP with Ninja for the first time, and I actually enjoyed myself. Which is wild, because it's PvP. Uh, I've been doing a lot of crafting, I have so much garbage in my inventory, I gotta turn these cards in. Uh, I wanna craft some orchestrian rolls. We got a lot of options, uh, but I hope everyone is is holding in there, at least for the for the now, because uh, I know stuff is very scary uh, for those in the United States and those who will be affected by this outside of the United States. But we always have each other, so I figured I would do something nice, do a little stream. I'm literally not on the right screen. I don't have a button on my stream deck <laughs> to go to the Final Fantasy layout. So I just hit the regular one. There we go. But, okay, this is, this is going to be nice for me. Get a little bit of rest. I was going to stream where I start today, but I do not think I have the amount of energy required to fight bosses in retro games. I think that is, that is asking slightly too much of me. Uh... But Final Fantasy is second nature. So let's actually hop in the queue for a roulette while we're doing all this stuff. Ooh, five minute wait. A leveling roulette. Unheard of for DPS. Let's get our ventures re going. Oh, I misclicked. Not sale history, venture. Hunting. I can't, I'm not quite at item level, and I don't want to have to go buy gear right now, so yak milk it is. Alright. How about you? No. I'm hunting, I'm fishing for minions on uh, my, my miner. Uh... Retainer, that's what they're called. And then I'm just leveling my uh, Disciple of War Retainer. I just did Ninja because I figure I'm going to have a bunch of gear that I outgrow, so I may as well toss it on my Retainer as it becomes uh, relevant. Let's see. Uh, other things I have to do are... I'm not going to do cack pot, because that requires, like, a solver. Um, I'm getting there with Blacksmith. We can do the uh, society quests for... Oh, we can actually do the society quests for Ninja as well. Uh, let's go to Leoran. Oh, no, wait. We're level 81 now. We have to go to... Yedlin yeah, Mod. I also need to gear up, because I'm not quite high enough... Uh, item level 4, level 81, dungeons. Let's go to the Arcosodera. We'll do this, and then I'm gonna... If we still haven't popped our queue, I'm gonna hop onto uh, Blacksmith, and we'll go do the, the Loperet uh, dailies. Get those done before we get the uh, GC turn-ins. Optimize for the highest level turn-ins we can get, because the GC turn-ins give a big chunk. Alright. I think you're going to give me a hippo cart, and I have to throw lung or stuff at longers. Yeah, throw gulal at longers. So there's one over here. I'm so zoomed in, because I did front lines. 
and I zoomed my map in. I usually try to have the entire map in one one thing. Oh, that's right, I have to throw on the wall at you. Get out of here. Alright. Man, I really enjoyed Endwalker. I've been enjoying Dawn Trail. I'm excited to see where, where they take stuff in 7.1. Uh, the the Pelo Pelo Society quests are gonna be really good. I can just feel it, and I'm very very excited for the um. Oh, uh, what's it called? The deliveries. The Wachimeki Meki uh, delivery quest, like completion thing that all getting tied together because that was I really really enjoyed watching Mickey Mickey. Hey leveling. There we go. That was a very fast queue. Alright. Where are we? Dusk Vigil. Alright, I can do that. That's a little howdy. God, I've done- I've run Dusk Vigil so many times. Recently it's just come up a lot in leveling roulette. I've run it a couple times for working on the, the Ninja and Dark Knight Heavensward Relics. It's just- I've done it quite a bit. Oh, you know what I need to take a look at is my Wondrous Tales. I think I only- I'm only missing like two stamps left. Let's get my cuddle puddle. Man, I wish that the Dodon wasn't so ugly. Cause it's just like, I don't know, is it supposed to be like sand or dust or whatever? It's just, I wish it was like a pretty color instead, but. I did once do Dusk Vigil with uh, a second ninja, and that was very, very fun, because we would just stack our dodons. And just having double puddle the trouble was so good. That person had a wild name, too. Oh, I did, um, Alliance Raid uh, roulettes with FC folks the other day, uh, and there was someone named John Pork. Which is a TikTok joke, I think. <laughs> Hi, Fregorio, welcome. Thanks for swinging by. Hope you're doing alright. I think nobody's really doing good today, but I, I hope you're doing alright. This is a fun boss. I like that it actually like engages the other like it 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 targets everyone. It's not just like focus the tank, stab it in the back. So everyone has to like play around it. With it's like a a trial with fewer mechanics. Which is honestly what I think bosses should be. Oh, the healer might go down. Oh, not quite. They, they must have popped a... Oh wait, there's another thing. Yep, goodbye. Sorry, healer. Oh my goodness, a 10-stream streak! Holy cow, Figurio, that's insane! 
I don't think I've ever reached a 10 stream streak on anybody's stream. Congrats. I'm gonna wait while, uh, while heal our healer plays catch up. But yeah, that's wild. Thank you so much. I, I always appreciate you uh, coming by and hanging out in chat. <laughs> I love the, the mod lift dance by the treasure copper is very fun. Yeah, I'm excited to, because I just hit level 80 the other day. Uh, well, and then 81 with, with Frontline Roulette. But uh, I've finished the last piece for this glam, which is the Rubilux Daggers, which are level 80. An item level fucking a trillion or something. So I'm excited to get to a high enough level where uh, I can actually apply the glamour of the Rubilux Daggers and have this be complete. Because those are, they're my favorite. I love them so much. And it's a testament to when I beat Cinder Drift with all of my friends. I have one uh, emerald plating still. I have a couple of ruby platings so I can make other Rubilux weapons uh, at some point, but I haven't thought of other ones I want for glams yet. I have one emerald plating that I'm going to save for some of my friends are going to start playing hopefully soonish. Although with recent develops, you never, developments, you never know. Um, so, I might, uh, when they finish Shadowbringers, which is a, a ways, ways off, I might make uh, one of the Smaragdine weapons uh, to give to them as a, as a little congratulations present. I think that would be fun. I love crafting stuff for people. I just, um, the other day someone was looking at my glam, one of my free company members, and was like, oh my god, what is that top? It looks so good. And I was like, do you want one? I have an extra. Here you go. And that was really fun. To be just like, oh please. Allow me to give you a present. That was really nice. I love the community in this game. I've been lucky to run into a very shoe app. Very few assholes. Um, it's happened, but... I've not played many MMOs, but this is definitely, out of the ones I have played, the least toxic. And now that I'm doing higher level content, I feel, like, very cool. I'm excited to hit Mentor at some point. I'm still a ways off, but... My my litmus, really, is that I've been getting commendations even when I play DPS. Because, like, obviously when I play Tanker Healer, a lot of people will commend the Tanker Healer. Um, because they have very important jobs, and it's it's easy to tell if they're doing them well or, or poorly. Um, oh, cool. Can we put him back in the puddle? Thank you. But DPS commendations are so rare in my experience that it's like receiving a DPS commendation makes me go like, oh shit, I'm actually doing a good job that people noticed and wanted to commend me. Because I know a lot of people just don't commend. Which, uh, you know, is reasonable if they feel like nobody did a, a particularly outstanding job. You know, if everything was just fine. But I try to commend where I can, because, like, you need, like, 40 trillion commendations to hit Mentor anyway. Like, I feel like, by and large single commendations for just, like, fine gameplay are not gonna, you know, tip the balance or whatever. So, I like to commend people. 
I like giving people a little sticker that says, good job. Oh, there's still an ice trap on this. I didn't even see it. Hey, get out of here. Puddle time. Uh, I also tried doing trusts for the first time. I'd, I'd never used the trust system because I just queued for everything. Uh, it helped that for dungeons I was, I was basically only queuing as tank during like my actual place with the MSQ because Dark Knight. So I had relatively short two times, uh, and I was relatively confident in my ability to play Dark Knight well. Um, I know a lot of people enjoy trusts for the sort of like no stress learning atmosphere. So like if you mess up on mechanics, nobody's gonna yell at you. Although I feel like people don't. People are more prone to education than than yelling in this game, for the most part. But so I tried trusts the other day which start at the start of Shadowbringers. And it was interesting to see the, like, the Scions' reactions to certain things and stuff, you know? Uh, and it reminded me of what happened in that part of the story, which I really enjoyed. But it was so fucking slow. And now that I'm above level 70, it's not good XP, really, even. So I'm... I'm probably going to wait until I, I'm leveling another job and hit 71, and then I will... I will do trusts then. Okay, we're in jail. Excellent. Beautiful. Just get a whole cycle of him standing in this puddle. I'm fucking up my GCDs a little bit, but that's fine. Alright. Oh, another whirling jail. Fuck. Oh, that was close. That was so close. Six percent. Oh, pretty cool. I want to get away from. There we go. Easy peasy. Eighty-two. Got the GG. Then that tank. I would have commended the healer probably, but they fucking bounced. Let's go. Hell yeah. Why are we back here? I was like... I was out of the great work when the queue hit. Strange. I, mean, I guess maybe because I was on the, the quest mount. It didn't know what to do with me. I do love my commendations. Magitech armor. All right, let's. We did leveling. What do I have for? I have level eighty. Am I high enough eye level for a few of them? So let's do high level roulettes. And just see. 19 minutes. That's the queue time I expected. Alright, here's some kitchen scraps. Thank you, Animated Alchemist. Let's 
see. We gotta deliver another thing of kitchen scraps, and then we'll do the asphalt seed. Or flip that order. Asphalt seed, then kitchen scraps. And then we could probably just. Mm, I was gonna say TP back to Yedlimod, but it might be equal distance. We just fly there from Palika's stand. Not that far. I believe I finished Shared Fates in this zone. I did. I've done. Dawn Trail and Shadowbringers. Uh, Endwalker, I am still working on, but I believe I have this zone. And Ultimate Fool. Done. I just finished Ultimate Fool the other day. Oh, oh. I always do this. I use the thing and then I leave. And I don't pick up the Asphalta Seed. Which is the key item for the quest. God, I love how shiny made they made the car. It's so shiny. I love my shiny car. Alright, hello. I have some kitchen scraps for you. Uh, I will TP the other mod. 70 gil is not a high price to pay. I could go buy 12 more gemstone vouchers. Maybe I should do that. And that leaves me 38 if I have to buy crafting mats. Some people will refuse to buy the crafting mats to save gemstones, but it's literally like two gems per. per thing. Okay, so my hope is that high level dungeons will take us to 83. Front lines will take us maybe halfway. Perfect timing. Frontlines will take us maybe halfway to um, to 84. Uh, what is... Oh, Kugane Castle. I haven't done this one in ages. There's some first-timers, so that's going to give me a stamp. I don't have any... This wouldn't give me any uh, Wonder's Tales. Oh, sorry, I, this wouldn't give me any stamps, but I will get a, uh, a reroll point. Oh, and our tank is actually doing pulls. This is awesome. Yeah, I haven't rolled Kugani Castle in ages. I think a lot of people don't like this. A lot of people see it as a as a annoying dungeon or boring dungeon. That's fine. You know, I'm not huge on it, but I'm not, you know, it's not bad. Double Puddle! Hell yes! We love Double Puddle. Still going or we're stopping here? I think we're stopping here. In which case... Let's get this out. Second wind. Alright. Single target you down. You get a right on out. Oh. I should probably be building up stacks of my currency. Ah, this is why we haven't gone ahead. Length on. Um, yeah, I'm not being targeted anymore. Good. Uh, well, I was hoping there'd be more than two guys left by the time I got my Dodon out, but honestly, I will take it. it means we're going fast. There we go. Yeah, four stacks of armor crush. 
I don't actually know what the thing is called. I just know Armor Crush gives it to me. Hello, tall man. Bone. That's some sort of bomb guy. I don't like that. Okay. Okay, cool. I can just drop that over there. I don't, I do not remember this mechanic. More armor crush. But I assume it's guy chases me, drops bomb. Alright. Okay, getting another one here, it looks like. Two more. Oh, fuck. They're... They bind you. It just didn't work last time for some reason. Yeah, I'm very dead. Cool. Alright. Just greeting on everything because I'm either gonna decent that or turn it in for uh, for seals. All right, what's up next? Honmaru Manor. I li I don't remember any of. Uh, mm, I might remember this actually. I remember these weird hallways. Hey, I can do that too. Mine's bigger. Double puddle. Hell yes. Hell yes. I'm gonna build up some. I need to do armor crush. I keep forgetting that it's better to get an armor crush off than a low powered uh, whatever the end of the melee combo is. Okay. I don't know, and I fucked that up. That's fine. Alright. Fuck up the summoner. There we go. Now I'm gonna do mine for real. There we go. Little bit more armor crush. Summoner. Oh, three more summoners. God, please face them a consistent direction. Okay, there we go. Cool. 
Oh, is this the one where it's uh, Yojimbo as the, the final boss? I feel like it is. Because this is one of the optional ones, right? move. I don't want to capture any of you in my... shame, because I would have liked to focus on Mug during that, but playing the ads ain't bad. Cool. Let's just do it. Get it done, get it done, get it done. Stiff. Roll my shoulders. All right, so I feel like we kill the bomb guy first, hey? Well, not if I can't fucking catch him. Yeah, this. This is the hallway, I remember. I have died in this hallway. This Tango, I think, is aggroed on the dancer here. Let's try and kill it before it... Well, never mind. Sucks. Well, I got one of them. Yeah, let me just move it. Oh god, now they're... Oh, everyone's dead. Okay. No, fuck this. I'm just trying to take out one. And that's, uh, that's what happened last time I died in this hallway, too. It's just too big a pull. That sucks. Oh, well. Okay, I was good. I was wondering if somebody was gonna finish rolling. Okay. I don't know. I was thinking about picking a Paladin just to try, because um, I've seen my friends play it, and it seems like it's got insane survivability, even for a tank. So. Uh, but then I also heard them say that the Paladin job quests are, like, really fucking boring. And have, like, the story to them is pretty bad, so... Yeah, we're doing little pulls now. Okay, I should be building up armor crash. Gotta remind myself. Oh, 
always throws me off. It's weird to have two job currencies, which is an insane thing to say as a red mage main, but... At least as a red mage, my two job currencies are related. Okay, just get out. Oh, I think it's dead. Cool. I was gonna say, because I did not clear that before the AoE went away, so they must have been killed. Cool, hello bombs. That. We avoid the self destruct sequences. Yeah, here's your Jimbo. Cutscenes. Not oh, this one. No, I'm not helping you. You pulled before the cutscene was done. Fuck. That's the one thing I really can't abide is people who who pull before the cutscene. I had that in um. I forget which one, but one of the Shadowbringers Alliance raids, my roulette the other day. Alright, give me some cash. I've played your game. I do think that's a really fun mechanic. The like, because he's a mercenary, if you intercept the funds. Oh, I will stretch, thank you, Fagoria. If you intercept the funds, he's like, oh, well, I'm not being paid very well. I'm not going to attack you very hard. Oh, no! battery doesn't die. Okay. No one gonna get those? Still only 15 funds. That's nothing. Okay. Let's get these off. You will have what your coin is worth. Nothing more. God, Gilgamesh is so fun. I got to run Battle on the Big Bridge the other day, too. That was really good. Yay! I commend the dancer. They did a damn good job, considering the hand they were dealt.
right, now comes. That's fine. That was that was a rough go of it. Uh, let's see. I've got a bunch of this crap. I got to 83. Yeah, fuck it. Let's hop in front line. And I'll run over to Best Way's Borough. Alright. Hopers hold it is. I really like this glam, despite the fact that I, I threw it together in anything, just a random garbage. I think it's a nice, like, just chill glam of, like, what's up? I'm just hanging out. I think it's cute. Alright. Cult paraphernalia. Quality. Okay. I'll start with this then. Let's see how much quality we can get out of it. There we go, that should be full. Yes. Okay, and then... 507 for the double. I think I've got a... Hope to get some goods. Please? Oh, I'm not- yeah, no, I'm not making this. Uh... Gamble? Damn. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Keeping Way. Oh, I have to talk to the... supporter. Alright. Let's do this instead. And then... Easy peasy. Get a couple of these off. Do just my basic rotation. Think this should work. One more. Yeah, there we go. That's the way to do it. Okay. Let's go to uh let's start over here on the west wing. We'll swing by the E3 8 on our way to the East Wing. It's the bottom floor, it's not the one who you have to challenge to a dance battle. This is one of my new favorite mounts, by the way. I love the Eden Raid mounts. Hello, Spunky Lopperette. Alright, let's go get the Dream Maker. These ones where you have to say stuff to NPCs is weird, because, like... That's just in global chat. <laughs> I imagine when these just came out, they were... more annoying, I guess. 
you get a bunch of people and the whole chat would just be like dream bigger dream bigger dream bigger dream bigger but all right thank you spunky lot for it all right we're 88 these ones i think might take me to 89 And then, I mean, we're almost there with DC turn-ins. see. Press idle infection protection suit. And uh, these are just make them. So these I think I'm pretty safe to... Yeah, those are easy. Which is good, because I gotta make four of them. I love when it doesn't make me do them high quality. <laughs> do I have crafting up a storm for this week already? I don't remember. I might, because I've been doing these, but it's just Wednesday, so. Let me check. Uh, hold on. I don't have crafting up a storm yet. That'll be some good XP. Alright, let's go back to Ninja. No. Commence. There we go. So, full disclosure, I don't know shit about Frontlines. Uh, I just follow what people tell me to do in chat, and I follow the crowd, and I hit my buttons. But I enjoyed it immensely more as... Uh, as ninja than as red mage or dark knight or any of my other a any of my other uh, attempts and it's good to know that uh if i'm leveling other stuff i can queue as ninja or i can queue as that job and then switch to ninja oh fuck it's a different map i've only played as um don chignatum on onsel hike here that's right, it changes weekly. Fuck. It's the same principle, right? Is this because this you like seize the uvu or whatever? Or is it is it fully different? <laughs> I did not anticipate it potentially being a different game mode. Here's the thing, I've literally, I'm a member of the Immortal Flames, I've literally never played under the flames. I've only ever played under the Adders and the Maelstrom. <laughs> Where the fuck are we going? I'm just I'm just following I should follow people in my actual party. Is that no, does that matter? I don't think it does. Right, it's they're like tombstones. Tom tomlith. Wait, we're not going this way, are we? Are we? I don't know. No, we're going to We are going to this one. Okay, go. Get up to you. Yeah! Get fucked, Viper. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Let me kill you. Let me kill you. Yes! I got an actual kill. Okay, run. Run. My friends are here. Yay! I think I've gotten at most one knockout in all the games I've played in. I usually get a bunch of assists. Because I follow I follow everybody else's lead on who to attack. Okay, 
Run. Nope. Free. Get out of here. Okay. Nice assist. I can't fucking see shit. Oh, fuck no. No, thank you. Oh, that ninja's so close to death. Oh, I'm out of range. Shit. There we go. Assist on the dragoon. Oh, fuck. Run. No, no, run. Nah, fuck. Okay, we're in second. Unfortunately, fucking the adders are fighting us instead of the flames who are running away with the game. Yeah, I love the the Sabotender. Is it the Sabotender Imperator, I think? We could pincer yellow here. I think we do. Yeah. Here we go. Go, go, go. Hey, machinist. You having fun? You having fun? Not gonna lie, the XP is good. But I'm, I'm, yes, assist. I'm largely doing this for the, uh, the, uh, cosmetics. Because the cosmetics are so good this season. Hell yeah, we got another one. Okay, we're, no, they're blue. We're green and blue. God, it's so weird. Oh, I should have. Actually fought that person. Okay, we're going up here. Yes, okay, the fight is at the top left. Okay. Sorry, Paladin. Oh fuck, no, nope. get out of here. I got an assist, but Alright, just run. Every everybody's stunned here. No, 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 no. That's not happening. Nuh uh. Let me get my MP back. Okay. Fuck out of here, Dark Knight. Cool. We headed south. We're getting new points soon. Okay. I'm just following Shout Chat. I should. Get on my horse. Bird. Oh, there's- this is a fucking bloodbath. Yeah, we gotta regroup before pushing. I gotta say, because people are just like rushing in. Just don't get pinched. Try not to get pinched. Okay, we've got ones back here. Oh, we got really lucky. There's two spawns right there. We're gonna get both. Are, pe are our guys up here fighting? I literally can't tell. Yes. There we go. Okay, pull them in. We're overextended. Okay. I'm gonna go south and regroup. Okay, they're following us. Awesome. That's actually really good.
Yeah, we've got choke points. Okay. Looks like they're maybe moving north. Oh, we're going south. That's what it is. Okay, we're still in second, but we're closing in on first. We're only barely behind. Push them from caves. Don't let yellow behind us. Oh, fuck. Um, I didn't realize there were guys here. I was not paying attention. Hi, Dark Knight. Oh, fuck. Why did I just walk right into that shit? It's so dumb of me. Come on. Dark Knight's almost dead. Fuck. Oh, that could have been so good. Alright, the flames have a battle high. There we go. Is that a knockout? I might have gotten a knockout there. Alright. Alright, let's go. We're gonna retreat for a bit. These are some lucky point spawns. You can hopefully take this one from the adders because they don't have very many people here. Yeah, they're just feeding south. Here we go. Cool. Beautiful. Yes, we take that one. Oh, that's my second knockout! Hell yes. Hell yes. Pardon me. Oh, no, this is actually bad. I need to leave. Or just fall back so that I can get some more folks here. No, get out. Fuck. No. No, fuck. Fuck. Heal. Yeah, they're right behind me. Let's go. Oh god, there are even more. Go. No, fuck. Okay, I'm dead. Yeah, we're barely in the lead, so they're pincering us. Looks like we're focusing blue. Got some kills here. There we go. Another assist. Okay, we're gonna get pincered here. Ah, that could have been so cool if I hadn't fucked it up. No, no, I'm leaving. Nice. Heal. Uh, 
Don't overextend. But we're pushing. Ah, the flames take it. We got second, though. Second ain't bad. Uh, I'm not gonna give combinations because I don't understand what doing well here. 229. It's fewer assists than my previous stuff, but uh, the twice as many kills and half as many deaths, so I will take it. I will absolutely take that. And we got a good solid XP boost. We're almost at 84. Okay, um, what else should we queue for? Let's just keep the trials. Trials will probably kick us up to, to 84. Um, okay. Zoom out the map. Oof. And then this is just a delivery, so I should be done with crafting. Well. Back to the grind. Let's get some uh, some distance. Oh, I should check my PvP uh, status, see if I can claim any more crystal things. Is this Mogglemog? I don't run Mogglemog in ages. Nice. Yeah, I think the last time I ran Mago Mog was like the extreme version for Wonders Tales. Okay, good spread. God, wait. <laughs> when does Muggle Mug actually fucking show up? Did to defeat his Knights 12 first or something? Okay, let me get this tower. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, poor black mage doesn't know what to do. There he is. this alien edge is what my rotation under is called. Okay, everyone please get in the stack. Oh, that's fine. That was enough. I'm so used to just running out for spreading. Because I usually play red mage, so I can just go as far as I want. Don't forget that my ranged options as a ninja are shit.
we're gonna go here. And then cross back over. Cool. We're good. It's not the nature I wanted to use, but you know what, I'm fine with that. Egg stack. Holy shit! The music for Magomag is just this is Halloween. Someone in chat just pointed that out. How did I not? Good King Magomag, good King Mag. This is Halloween. This it's the same. It's the same. Okay, let's let's thank our tank. Gotta love to thank the tank. I actually don't need this shit. I was thinking about descent, but it doesn't give me the, the materials that I want, so. I guess I could have used the gun. I don't know. I don't care. I don't actually care that much. Okay. Hello, I have an article of occult paraphernalia for you, trem trembling lopperet. Here you go. Okay. Back to the crypt. Where are we at with Ninja? It just barely 84. Uh, let me check Flint's Tales. We have nine stamps, so we could reroll something. Or nine, nine second chance points. We could reroll something. That might be what I do. Let's get those. Pump that up. We'll be almost all the way to 85, which would be pretty tight. See, it's the sixth, so we have a little less than a week. Um, four, seven point one drops. And 7.1 is going to include the battle society, or the combat society, rather, for Dawn Trail. So if I can get to 90 with Ninja in the next week, then I have that to keep leveling. And that'll be fun. Alright, we're at 89 with Blacksmith. Beautiful. I think the... GC turn-ins later today will probably take us almost all the way to 90, and then tomorrow... Um, tomorrow, society quests will kick us up to 90, which is great, because that's the point at which the XP from the society quests will be garbage, and we uh, get GC turn-ins at the highest level we can. This is great. I'm so close. Blacksmith is the last disciple of hand I have to do. Um, let me deset some of this stuff. So I'm going to have to clear out my inventory of a bunch of garbage anyway. I may as well decent all this. Let me try this on. It's not a bad piece. Just thinking about glams. It's not bad, but it's casting, so. Really, I'm looking for fending and, uh, I mean, really anything but casting. <laughs> um, because I like my rogue glam. I'm not going to desynth any of the, the stuff for goldsmith, because my goldsmith desynth is already incredibly high. It's not going to increase for any of those, so I'll just turn those in. Uh, let's go back to old, uh, <clears throat> how am I doing on tomes? Ooh, I have a ton of tomes. So what I should do is, how am I looking on F30 Umbrite? Can I get another 30 on right? 
Not quite. I can get 20 upright. So I'm almost to the point where I have to, I have to ether farm with my ninja relic. So that's where I'm at with my, my Dark Knight relic. The worst part. I've only ever, for Heaven Ward, Heaven's Ward Relics, I've only ever completed the, uh, the Dragoon one. Uh, I think I... I don't remember if I started the White Mage one. Or not. Uh, oh, I have Engineering Manuals I could have been fucking using. I guess I'll use that later for um, DC turn-ins. Uh, what else do we have? We have MSQ Roulette. Which is almost certainly going to be Praetorium, but it wasn't the other day. I got Castrum the other day. Um, let's hop in MSQ Roulette. 16 minutes, not bad. Um, not bad for DPS queuing. Uh, let's... Mm, I have 28, which is just shy of another two maps or a uh, an MGP. So we'll probably get something for that. Don't really have anything to do for Blacksmith. What else do we have? Custom plate race already did. Squadron's on their way. Oh, I have Adventure done. Let's go to the, uh, the Gold Saucer and we got my Venture. And maybe I'll do my, uh, my mini cat pot, pull up my solver. Oh, your stomach hurts. I'm sorry, Vigorium. I hope you feel a little better. Tummy aches are the worst. Honestly, a stomach ache and headache are the two worst kinds of aches. No, sorry, I just remembered toothache. Uh, anything with ache in its name is bad. Uh, so I, I hope you can get some relief. I guess we could do Fall Guy. The only thing is we wouldn't be able to queue for stuff. Uh, oh, I shouldn't trust this stuff. This, uh, if it gets... Cool. Nice. Nice level. Um, cause I've got stuff from decent thing I shouldn't trust. But yeah, good thread. Uh, let's put in this garbage, too. Because I'll probably need that again. This, we can just have the retainer sell. Get my yellow element away, star quartz. Folding it. Oh. Inventory's full, never mind. Alright, let's do a little cackpot action. Didn't even need the solver to lose that one. <laughs> I know if you make a Y... You will find... There we go, 1080 is not bad. If you make a Y shape, you will find the 123 if it exists. Ah, 126. Let me try this. Eh, not great. That's fine. Uh, I mean, we could work on... I don't really want to do gathering and shit, because I usually use um, team craft to manage all that, because I don't know where anything is. And I don't want to be, like, on a website <laughs> while streaming. I feel like I would be not very attentive. Um, God, I have so much garbage in my inventory. Oh my god, I, I didn't even use my fucking XP buffs. I have XP buffs for this shit. Okay. Let's take a look at... I guess we could work on Shared Fates while we wait for the queue to finish. Yeah, I finished Ultimate Tool. I have Thabner done. 
I'm basically starting from scratch in all the all the rest of these. Uh actually, you know what? I might be able to level in Labyrinthos. Because Labyrinthos is the first Endwalker zone, right? So these should be relatively at my level. I'm, the problem is I'm only geared up for like level 78 though. This is 81. I think that's fine. That's probably fine, right? Let me get cheap crap out here. There's not a lot of time left on this one, so let's just see how we're doing for... Progress. But I think I can finish this in five minutes. Uh, I'm definitely not finishing this in five minutes. Or I guess four minutes now. Alright, so we'll, we'll beat this. I'll leave. We'll get the... little bit of XP for uh, failing. Let me pop my XP stuff. Let's drink this mesquite juice to clear some inventory space. What else do we have? Nine minutes left. But it's level 88. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to go start this other one. That's the problem, is Labyrinthos is, like, the first zone and also one of the last zones. Because half of it is just blocked off until later. I did have, um... Uh, one of my free company members said to me that I was making good progress on Ninja. I was like, it feels so slow. And they were like, you were like level 30 like two weeks ago. And that hit me and I was like, wait, I was? I've lost track of time. I love the little Eshivores. Yeah, the little cabbage guys. They're so cute. Okay, what am I fighting? Pitcher plants. I'm, I, uh, my apologies. Frothing snapweed. Oh my god, these guys are going to murder me to death. Holy shit, this is not happening. I'm going to die so bad. I need to gear up. I'm 84, I should be able to get some decent gear. Yeah, I'm going to die here. Bye bye. Okay. Well, let's go buy some actual decent gear. And then what I can do is I can give. Oh, I can't give this gear to my retainer because she's at level 54. Uh, okay. So let's go to Old Charlan. I think my glam might actually work if we get new gear. I believe these are the up here, interior for her melder, full supplier, full plate armoire, merchant. Where the fuck do I buy armor? Where's my armor and, and weapon supplier? Are they down here? Are they down there? What the fuck is anything in this town? I'm like never in Old Charlian, and when I am, I only go to the market board. <laughs> or like the gemstone trader. I guess I don't have the gemstone trader. The, um. I don't know what it's called. 
No, because this is guild ships. I guess this is the other thing I go to. So where the fuck do I buy arms? I'm going to Ratsatan. I don't fuck. I don't know this town. Collectibles. Merchant. You just sell everything? No. Not even remotely. Um. Grip, Splendors, Materia, oh, of course I went to the wrong hallway. There's two hallways and I always pick the wrong one. At least there's just two hallways, so I know it's in one of them. That's Relic Exchange, Totem Exchange, Token Exchange, Gear Exchange. Oh no wait, this is for Tombstones. Here are the gems to Where the fuck do I buy a weapon in this town? <laughs> where where do you buy weapons? I just I want to buy weapon and gear. Is that too much to ask? There's another vendor up here. Let's see on the map. Oh, that's the guild ship hunt render. Where, literally, where do you buy level 84 gear? Uh. Endwalker buy gear. Vendor locations and gear costs. High level 580, Tombstone Token Vendor, Stream Trial. No, this doesn't tell me shit. Where's just like the the weapon vendor? Endwalker Gearing Guide. Don't tell me about Materia. Purchase with Tombstones. Where the fuck do I buy regular gear? I know there I know it's there! I know there is regular gear. Level 84 gear. The junk monger in Mare Lamentorum. What? Why is that where they put the we the gear? Why is the gear supplier on the moon? Why did they put the gear supplier on the moon? My guy! Purchase weapons. Elizabeth Daggers. I guess technically I could craft this shit, but I don't want to. Oh, craft it here. Scouting. 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 Uh, accessories. Let me take a look at what I have. I really hope I don't have to open up my armoring chest. This is a weird ass fit. Alright, hold on, let me. Can I play glamour plates here? Thank goodness. I was looking at this for a potential astrologian glam, uh, with some dyes to make it more cohesive. There we go. <gasps> Finally! I get to wield the Rubalox daggers. Alright, how am I looking? 72, 72, 72, 77. And then obviously my earrings. I should probably buy a neck bracelet ring. Uh, 
Uh, so aiming, aiming, aiming. The other one right back here. Yeah. Cool. Now I'm actually geared up. Actually, what level are the fates on the moon? They're 84. <laughs> We're gonna do moon fates instead. At least while we wait for the, uh, the Miss Q roulette to, to go through. I fucking love the Rubilex daggers. I'll have to show once they... <gasps> Luna Tenders! I love Luna Tenders. Like, look, look how cool these are with the aura. Let's zoom in a little bit. These fucking rule. I love how they're like very repurposed Allegan vibes. Because they're from uh, the Ruby weapon, which is based on the Ultima weapon. Oh god, I love dealing damage appropriate for my level. It's so good. And this I'm actually going to get done in these five minutes, I think. If I remember to hit the right buttons instead of just mashing. I can actually pull a few of these. Now that I have the health to back it up. That's one thing that, like, sometimes is nice about Final Fantasy is that, like, you don't have to worry about your stats because they're just your gear. So as long as you're on top of your gear, your stats will be fine. But it also means if you're not on top of your gear, you're fucked. Which is... a little frustrating at times. Although I really should be on top of my gear. Okay, let's just take out this one. Just to lower DPS a little bit. La Vie en Epine is the ability I just used, which is the life in spines. That's very fun. But yeah, look at how look how fucking Look how much progress I've made on this single fate. Got my shadow. I still don't know how to use this, really. That's one of the things I wish was... Um, clearer, I guess. It's because the job quests told you about your new abilities and kind of how to use them. You still have to, like, read about them, but... And then once, once the job quests phased out in favor of the role quests... You don't really get to learn what your shit is until it happens. Or you have to do a bunch of reading. So I don't actually know what that ability is, except it makes a shadow, I think, that attacks with me. I'm not even fucking using my Mudra. What am I doing? It's like half my class. It's either this one or one more after is the best one for this. There we go. It's done. Oh, yes! And we're almost done with In Your Fate, too, which is going to give me a big lump of XP. See. Oh. Never mind. We will continue Fates after. Uh, just in case. Yeah. I was going to check levels. All right. Progression on those, just in case. 
Oh, I didn't update my fucking portrait. Oh, hey! Porta Dekumana. Oh, we got a sprout! We got a sprout with us! Yay! I think I just keep DPS up. I think this really doesn't hurt anymore. Although, the Sprout is our healer. We'll probably be fine. Got our trick attack off. Oh, we're good here. Here. God, remember when Heidelin could, like, actually do shit? I think I'm gonna get entombed here. Yeah. But Heidelin's gonna help us out. Thanks, God Mom. Uh, this is Porto Decumana, which is the trial right after uh, Praetorium. Which is like the final main story dungeon. So this is at the end of the base game. Uh, when Gaius Van Belsar is piloting the Ultima weapon, and he's like, I'm gonna blow up everything, because the Asian told me that it would be good for my fascism. And he's like, the Asian lied to me? It's more likely than you think. And I should kind of group up so that Medicas would be more useful. Or, I say Medica. I don't know the name of the... Astrologian ability with the same name. Actually, if they're an Astrologian, they're not a Sprout. Because you have to have gotten to Ishgard to unlock. So I guess they just didn't have skip cutscene on. Okay, we're fine then. I don't gotta worry about shit. God, it's so weird having a Oh right, this is one of the ones that I don't like to use. Um It's so weird during four person trials, because these don't exist anymore. The only ones that I know of are Porta Zekumana, this one, uh and um Ooh, what's it called? Burning something. Uh, Ifrit. Stock Ifrit being the, the first primal you face. is a four-person trial. It's so weird. They're almost always eight parties. Hi, Ifrit. I don't think I will succumb, but thank you for the offer. Let's drop my second wind. No reason not to. Well, it was a KD resist, but boring. And it's like so easy to avoid this shit. They really were just, like, playing games. Okay, but yeah, this is another Hydaelyn intervention. We're good here. 
all the ones that look like they shouldn't be avoidable is when God steps in and is like, no, sorry. I can't believe she did this shit here and expended all of her ability to, like, affect earthly affairs to, like, turn this guy's computer off. Like, you couldn't have saved any of that energy for when we were fighting Satan, or, like... Why does my enemy still stand? Can her strength truly be so great? Oh, is this where Lahabraya shows up? It is the blessing of yeah. life that can Fuck you. off, Lahabraya. Give me my boyfriend's body back. Lahabraya. Give Thancred's body back. Your foe under the protection of the crystal she bears. So, this is what empowers her. God, Gaius is such a yapper. Beyond mortal limits. If you are to prevail, the hammer of darkness must needs be brought to bear upon the shield of light. Yeah, I can't skip it. Okay. And so it shall. For the Ultima Weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet ignorant. Hey guys, if you push the giant button called Destroy Eorzea, you'll definitely get to conquer Eorzea. of Sabik. It is the weapon's core, an enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars of ancient Alec failed to scratch. Yeah, I remember this. The magic. Has lain dormant for eons. Yeah, th uh, the magic within was a fucking problem even in the world what unsundered. Do you speak? A spell without parallel. Ultima. This is so fucking funny knowing Kingdom Hearts lore. I sought the life force. Because Kingdom Hearts I is Final Fantasy. It is a Final core. Fantasy. For the true power. And so, like, Ultima being, like, this spell without parallel is really funny, because Donald Duck can cast a stronger spell than this. What have you done? No more than was necessary for my god to be reborn. Damn you, Asian. The hour at hand. Behold but a sliver of my god's power. And from the deepest pit of the seven hells <laughs> to the very pinnacle of the heavens, the world shall tremble. Unleash my weapon looks cool in mind. this cutscene. I love how Gaius was like, I'm just not going to question what the interdimensional ghost demon tells me I can do. Because he surely can't have any of his own aims and desires. You know, the interdimensional ghost demon from before time. Casting nuke. It, it, it's just nuke. That's the thing. And Gaius is like, what have you done? I didn't want to destroy this world. I wanted to rule over it. <laughs> And it's like, then why did you make a weapon, or why did you find a weapon capable of blowing shit up to this degree? Oh, Hydaelyn, it seems the task of keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength you had left. Like, this is literally the last of Hydaelyn's energy. Your enemy's shield is broken. Is protecting us from Ultima. The Which, like, I leave fair you. game. Dying to Ultima would have sucked. We will speak <laughs> later, but this one little fluke keeps her from preventing, but or keeps her from interacting in, like, worldly affairs for the rest of the game. Who is 
so fucking stupid. I mean, I guess she's also, like, holding the universe in stasis, which is a bit power-hungry, but... Or power-intensive, I suppose I should say. All right, phase two. This phase is not hard at all. I mean, neither phase is really hard, but... It's literally just like, don't be in the lasers. If it's your first time and you're not expecting it, then, like, it can be rough, but... I'm gonna stand here and get... Don't fucking put me in your AoE, Astrologian. God, it's always so weird sinking down, especially with a class that I've been, like, leveling for a while. Because I've gotten so used to the higher level shit. Do I have to intercept these? Yes, okay. I don't know. Not intercepting them probably wouldn't have done shit. Right, let's get trip attack back up. There we go, now we got the bits. Magistic Bits is maybe one of my favorite mechanics. Because they use it a lot, especially in the, the Bajia stuff. I love the like grid of randomly determined line AoEs or quadrant AoEs. There's a really good one in Dawn Trail. Uh, one of the Dawn Trail dungeons. Oh, what is it called? Orogenix? That one is really fun. Where it's like, stuff is being like, magnetically drawn across the arena. Oh, damn. If only I had a button where I could heal myself. Ow. Okay, stack on me please. Thank you. Yeah, we're already halfway through his health bar. It, like, takes a while, but it's really not that difficult of a trial. And it mostly just takes a while because it's a light party duty. So your, your DPS output is limited by your number of party members. Citadel Buster. Well, that doesn't sound great. Oh, it's it's just the same old boring shit? Okay. I don't know, I'm talking shit. But I'm mostly talking shit on Guy Smith Belsar, because he's stupid. At least here. I was, I really loved this when I played it for the first time. But... I do, I think they gave guys some good character development after this. But it's definitely, he's pretty one note in A Realm Reborn. He's like, I want to conquer it. No, not like that. Okay, here's the enrage. Attack up. Hey. The Astrologian just wasn't attacking. Uh, I mean, that's not good for us. 
You do need to do DPS, dude. I accidentally used second wind instead of deep, instead of limit break, but it ended up being fine. All right, I'm commending our tank. I was like, why is our DPS so slow? And uh, it's because one of the players was not attacking. Uh, all right, let's do let's do this one. This should give us the in your fate bonus. Uh, oh, we can actually do Alliance Raid uh, Roulette. Let's do Normal Raids first. Because I had too low an item level when I was level like, 80, 81. Alliance Raid, or Normal Raid Roulette is allegedly fast. I probably will not do Alliance Raid Roulette today, or at least not on stream, just because, like, if I roll fucking Puppet's Bunker or whatever, it's going to take me 12 hours to finish that thing. Oh, hey, a friend! <gasps> There's a friend! I saw their Chocobo and I was like, oh, it's a Lollafell, <laughs> because their Chocobo is so fucking small. Oh no, I'm sorry, friend, I have to leave. My roulette is done. Oh, I have to fucking update my portrait. I forgot. Oh, I will take some more. Thank you. God, this would be great if I wasn't still on the phase before, because this would be a great way to gather... some stuff for uh, my relic, but I'm on the phase before gathering ether for my relic, so. Trick attack off. I think we can safely ignore the stern balls. Because I think if Faust dies, this boss ends. I think the dolls are literally just useless. 20%. Yeah, I do- I, I've been liking Ninja. I think it's like the, the right amount of complexity for me. The same way that Red Mage is, where it's like, I have, I have like two resources I have to manage, and like, you know, with Red Mage those are connected, so it's a little less intense, but then I'm also managing MP on top of that, whereas this I don't have to manage MP, but I do have to manage uh, all my resources and remembering the Mudra and that kind of stuff. Let's get Trick Attack off. It's a bomb. So I believe this one we get Oppressor 2. Oppressor 1.5 or whatever. Once we get this low enough and then when one dies the other one rages. Right, let's build up some armor. Crash. Give our alien edge some more punch. Alright. Emergency deployment. I don't know what this does. Oh, it deploys little guys. I'm just gonna ignore them. Yeah, they're already gone. 0 0.5, that's what it is. Oh shit, you know what? I never checked the Mogpendium. I've got everything I want. Okay. Let's focus on 0.5. I'm 
got everything I want with tomes, but I am always down for more uh, maps and MGP, especially because we don't know how much the um, the Mahjong voice packs are going to cost. We commend the healer. Okay. Cool. Still going. Oh no, my friend has left. I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to abandon you. God, it's so weird when there's no music. I mean, there is music, but it's so faint that I, like, can't hear it over everything else. Oh, so what does this ability actually do? Grants five stacks of Bunshin. Each stack allows your shadow to attack enemies each time you execute a weapon skill. Increases by five every time your shadow lands an attack. Okay, so it just gives you... It just doubles your attacks. For five attacks. Okay. It's kind of like the... Um, how it used to be with Dark Knight. Where you get certain stacks of a thing. I guess it's still that way with uh, Sink Down Dark Knight. Okay. Let's get the Dodon up. These out. Get Arc's Length up. Okay, they're both in. Tunnels it up there. Get a little shade shift so that she grab can heal me. Thank you. Oh, cool. I don't even have to look for another one. Oh, you know what else I forget? Is this. I forget that I have the thing that I can do all of them at once. It's an OC OGCD. I think this one is the last one. So I'm not gonna worry about attacking that one that just aggroed, because it should run away after I finish the fight. There we go. And you run away. Cool, cool. And we get the Anger Fate bonus. We're almost 85. Alright, let's take a look at our Mog Pendium. So we should have new weeklies. Soul of the Creator, Elite Clan Mark Bill, or Triple Triad. We could do an Elite Clan Mark Bill. It wouldn't give us much, though, is the problem. Triple Triad at least would work towards some achievements. Uh, I still do a bunch of maps. Might try and do that this weekend. Soul of the Creator does give normal rewards. I don't remember what I do. I'll probably unsync that. Uh, just because syncing it seems... Oh, no, wait. Do I have to sync it for it to count? I might. Yeah, okay. Let's try that. Let me get out of my... We'll, we'll, we'll see how much the how long the queue is. Soul of the Creator. 11 minutes, not bad. I assume some other people also have that as a, an objective. Uh, 5 minutes, 8 minutes, 14 minutes. We can do the 8 minute one. And then we'll run over the 14 if we're still in queue. Whoa. 
This is one of my favorite maps. I like that I have my own limit center. I'm just like you guys. See, I'm a friend. Just chill. Just chill and let me handle this. I can I can go to China base. Lavina theme is still such a good uh, attack name. You two. Oh. oh, we got three. More than I intended, but I can't what? Oh, I moved. That's why I lost my Tenchi Gym. I was like, I just used this the skill and it just vanished. I forget you have to stand still to use that one. Ooh, Forborn Maiden. Extra XP. Hello. Sick, sick. We might get the double XP buff. But even if we don't, we should get increased uh, gemstones. Oh, I gotta spend my gemstones! That's what I gotta do. I don't remember how many vouchers I have. I think you need 500 for the mount. Dead on. Just have one. I should not be doing AOEs because there's only two of them. The dead on is mostly to help Chief Craft take out the other one because his damage is abysmal. Okay, we lose tension in here. So then I don't have to. So I just realized that the fucking name of this fate is Cactus What You Preach, which is so fucking stupid. I love it. Alright, one more. I'll just do this one. Being aggroed. I'll just burn all my currencies. There we go. Yay! We did get Twisted Fate. Let's go do another one. This was the 14 minute one over here. To our east. I love this cool motorcycle. I love my Tron motorcycle that turns into a quadcopter. Oh, I should check my PvP shit. That's what I forgot to do. Yay! Another Malmstone. Maybe next we run to uh, uh, Bullstem Pier. 
I can buy another piece of the uh, the glamour set I'm looking at. It's the tactical C2 set is the one I'm looking for. I mean, I want to get all of them, but I figure that the C2 set is the one I'm starting with because it's pink, obviously. What are these creatures? What are you? Some sort of like rock lizard? A group of curious lunar life forms has begun their migration. Loath though you are to put down such pitiful creatures, their spread must be stopped. Okay, that doesn't tell me what the fuck they are though. They're like. I mean, I guess they're just moon beasts. I love that they were like, what if we just, what if one of the zones was moon? We put you on the moon. Where's, let's see, where is Atheris? There it is. Hi, Atheris. God, I, so much Final Fantasy lore is so fucking stupid, and I love it to death. I love that we used to have two moons. But one of them was actually a, a prison for a dragon. So that one blew up. Because <laughs> the dragon came out. I love that... Uh, Gun blades predate guns. God, have I told the, the fucking Gunbreaker saga on stream before? I don't think I have. So for anyone who's not familiar with um, the specific brand of bullshit that Final Fantasy pulls, particularly in Final Fantasy XIV because it's my context, uh, there was a group of uh royal protectors in Bosnia, uh, the land historically inhabited by many peoples, but uh, namely the Hrothgar, the lion guys, um, who uh, served their queen, Queen Gunhilder, and there was a long line of, of Queen's Gunhilder. But uh, they devised a weapon that could channel ether into down a blade into creating an explosive effect. And so naturally, the queen's personal guard uh, utilized... Holy fuck, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Holy shit. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. Naturally, this was like a culturally relevant weapon, so uh, Queen Gunhilda's personal guard started using uh, these these blades. And so naturally, her personal guard were referred to as Gunhilder's Blades. And uh, the weapons they wielded came to also be known as Gunhilder's Blades. Uh, and that was too long. So people just started calling them Gun Blades. You know, short for Gunhilder's Blades. And then the... <laughs> the fucking... Oh god, don't die, don't die, don't die. I'm so close. Just run. We're good. 400k. Holy shit, we're almost at 85. Um. So. Anyway, Gunhilder's Blades, the Gun Blades used a weapon, which came to be called the Gunblades, after them. The Garlean Empire, in their conquest of, of Bosnia, uh, claimed some of these weapons, 
and uh, being sort of etherically dampened as a as a people. Uh, they couldn't channel ether through the blade as as the Bosjans did. And so they were like, well, okay, what if we replaced it with some of our Magitek? And to, to a similar effect, to create a sort of explosive device combined with... Combined with a blade. And they used that, and eventually they were like, why do we even have the blade on here? Take that off, and we'll just, we'll just use the explosive part. Because it's so strong, because we are using, like, gunpowder and shit. I'm sorry. Explosive powder. So naturally, they removed the blade, and they said, well, it's a gun blade without the blade. It's just a gun. So guns came after gun blades. Which is the dumbest shit imaginable. Uh... And then, the way the Gunbreaker class got its name was the Garland said, well, why don't we just scale these up? We could use these as artillery positions instead of relying on, like, little ones to carry around. I mean, we'll still do that, but let's just make big ones. So they made those, which were also called guns, because they were just big guns. And then, naturally, they used these in their war against the, the Bajan resistance. And so the resistance started employing uh, individuals with uh, these, these gun blades. To go and destroy the, uh, to act as a forward team to destroy the Bosjan or the Garlean uh, artillery pieces, so they would go forward and they would break the guns so that the main troops could move it. So they were the gun breakers. So gun breakers are named after guns, which are named after guns, which are named after gun blades, which are named after Gunhilder's blades, which are named after Queen Gunhilder. And it's just an absolutely batshit way of structuring your world building that I deeply adore. It's completely insane. So I'll often say it's hilarious that they named guns after gun blades, but it's so much stupider than that. Oh, let's go to uh, Wolves Den Pier. I can go turn in my, uh, my crystals. I want to get the pants of the same set. Okay, where are, where's, there it is. Oh, I forget, it's all PvP actions here, so my hot bars are different. Uh, trophy crystal. Okay. Hello, I would like... The model C2 tac or C C2 tactical bottoms. Thank you. And then earn. I'll go dump these in my glamour dresser. Maybe I'll show them off. I like this set. I think it's cool. Okay. Lay my dresser. There we go. Since you tapped the bottoms. And then I'm gonna edit glamour plates. Am I are there any of these I'm not I'm not using this one. This is just the math set. Oh, hold on. I'm showing off my cool outfit. This is the, the cool outfit. 
It's all cyberpunk. Okay. No. Vents. There we go. I wonder if there's anyone for whom this is their first go at it. The tanks are still viewing the cutscenes, so it's possible. They're both out. Probably not. Oh, nope. One or more party members have yet to complete the duty. Uh-oh, it's mega holy. God, I'm excited to run through the Alexander raids again with the friends. For the, like, for their first time. I don't like that. It's gonna unfold in... Yeah. Okay, Cardinals. Alright. Trick attack on... Another mega holy. Okay, let's get away from people. Cool. Yeah, because the the storyline for Alexander is just as bonkers. Because it's like, it's a time machine that was wished into existence and guaranteed its own creation. Which is, again... Patently insane. Uh, cool. Oh, still one over here. Hi, Alexander. How are you? God, the music is so good for this too. Shakers out. Uh oh. Down a tank. Ow. Well, that's not great. Oh, we're also down a healer. And a dancer. Oh, uh, nope. This is maybe a wipe. I mean, it is, it is like the last raid in the Alexander's tier. It's not easy. Echo helps, but... Yeah. Healer got the stack marker. They're not living. We still have one healer. We're probably raising the other healer. They got the rays off. <laughs> yeah, no. No, we're dead. Here we go. One more again. It's 
slightly increased echo. Just focus so I have a better view of what's going on. Let's just try and get to phase two quickly. I think it's 75%. We summon tabs. Alright, out. Oh, they're good. There we go. That's time. you in the puddle, please. Two gone fast. Move on to the second one. Chill tank LB3 here, we'll be fine. Beautiful. We're already back up to full. Get back in here, Alex. He does look very cool with his wings. Oh fuck, I have an earth shaker. Get out. I guess it's not an earth shaker, it's a bomb. Mega Holy. Punishing Heat. Just assigning us debuffs again, or... No, I think it might be a tank buster. I don't know, I can't fucking see the tank. Alright, I'm getting the fuck away. Cool. Taking the stack. Here. Excellent, I'm already in place. Avoid the laser. Got a mega holy. Cool, we're getting the off tank back up. Time gates. What the fuck do we do? I don't remember this mechanic. I'm just gonna keep dumping damage in. Did he just send adds to a different phase? Like... <laughs>
That's close. I would love healing. I would love if I could get healed. Thank you. Put on shade shift for something I didn't need it for, but honestly, everything's pretty fucked right now. I will gladly take a little bit of extra HP. Gravitational anomaly. Is this gonna hurt? Uh, probably. Excellent. I'm batched up. I won't say I'm doing great here, but I haven't died, so... Hi, Alexander. Again. Two of him. Okay, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm just gonna get away from the folks with feathers. Okay, and away from those folks. Fuck, I need a stack. Fuck, I did not get there in time. Okay, they're alive. Okay, we have one healer up. The other healer being raised, so we're good. There we go. Okay, thank you, one healer. That was insane. Um, Tony Alexander, I already have. Goodbye. Holy hell. Uh, well, let's claim our Mogpendium reward. Ooh, 20. Where are we at now? Because that also was worth somewhere. 55. Don't think I would use the Hades Barding, so I'm just going to get maps or MGP instead. How am I doing on MGP? Three point eight mil. I could, I could go up to. I could go up to four mil. So I would get a hundred k, or I could get like four maps. Uh, let's just get one of these. Let's burn it now. Ditch the cog. Uh, oh god, I have bolts as well. That's the one thing, is I wish you could just not get those. It's thrown away as annoying. Oh, okay. Well, we did we did pretty well. We got like four levels today, which is pretty insane. Uh, thanks everyone for coming and hanging out. Uh, I'm gonna go walk around in nature a little bit. I think that'll be, be helpful. Uh, so I hope everyone has a chill, uneventful rest of their day. Um, it just gets to gets to relax a little bit because, God, I and everyone I know has have been so tense. <laughs> so I will see you next time, uh, Friday. Uh, I might do Rise Star Friday. Um, it's kind of up in the air still, but I will see you then. Uh, and then I'll get my schedule up for next week on Sunday. Bye, everyone.